Assalamu alaikum guys. Today we are going to start the next part of this chapter, salt. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The learning objective for this lesson is in this lesson you people will be able to describe the methods for the preparation of salts. Methods for the for preparation of salts. There are three methods. So in this lesson, you will understand all the three methods for the preparation of salt. How salts are formed? Salts can be made by reacting acids with metals, with metal carbonates, bases or alkalis. These are all the reactions of acid. Basically, we have learned in the previous lesson of acid bases. If you want to see this lesson, you can click the website button given under this video. Again, I'm repeating salts can be made by reacting acids with metals, carbonates or bases or alkalis. First, we will discuss this. The salts can be made by reacting of acids with metals. The metals which we will safely react are the magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron. These are the uh, safe metals which we will use in the laboratory. So first of all, I would like to describe the method. Then I will give you the uh, detailed description with diagrams what basically method we will use to prepare a soluble salt if if we are going to prepare a soluble salt then we will use acid plus excess metal acid plus excess metal or we will use insoluble metal oxide or we will use metal carbonate Actually, in this preparation of salt with acid, acid is already aqueous form, in aqueous form. But if metal we are going to add, it will be solid. If we will add any metal carbonate, for example, we add the calcium carbonate, then it will be solid. Okay, if we will add metal oxide like copper oxide plus sulfuric acid, the method will be same to prepare this salt when one is starting one element is uh, solid, another compound is solid, this compound is solid with the aqueous HCl right when metal displaces hydrogen from the acid a salt will be formed definitely when it will react a salt will be formed but again we see acid plus excess metal insoluble metal oxide solid insoluble means it is solid and insoluble metal carbonate it is solid so this method which we will use to prepare a soluble salt when one is solid another is aqueous first method first method will go along with this mgcl2 and hydrogen gas will be produced calcium when we displace this hydrogen calcium chloride will be formed and h2o plus co2 gas when copper oxide will react it will form copper sulfate plus H2O. So salt will be formed when these reactions take place. But the method to prepare all of these three salts will be the same. So first what we will do? You have to memorize all of these steps accordingly. Pause this video while you have to memorize uh, these points Record these my, these points in your notebooks. Write it at least two or three times to retain these points in your mind. First of all, 
we will heat some acid in a beaker why will we will heat acid in a beaker because when we will provide heat it will get uh, dissolve easily and give a good uh, result metal will or insoluble part will dissolve in a good condition another add metal or metal hydroxide or carbonate the solid part which will which we will use we will add metal or metal hydrox metal oxide or carbonate until some no longer dissolve until it is not going to dissolve in it we will add metal metal oxide or carbonate filter the mixture throw away residue heat the filter to evaporate some water allow to cool crystals form filter off salt crystals and then dry i know without the uh, the pictorial display you can not understand it properly we are going to prepare a soluble salt a soluble salt is prepared first i would like to read and step out all of these steps which we have read right now in making the salt in the laboratory then again we will go through these points how we will prepare this salt in the first step we will warm the acid after warming this acid we will add a metal in it that will be the magnesium metal we will take magnesium metal and put it in an acid if it is hcl it will form magnesium chloride reaction will start to take place and you will see that metal get dissolves and there are some bubbles of gases coming out so gas will be evolved all the metal started to react with it and after the reaction all the salt will get dissolved excess magnesium start to settling down excess magnesium will be settled down and this salt will be dissolved in the acid so then when all the reaction has been take place we will take this salt soluble salt and filter it why we will filter it we want to remove this excess magnesium and we will throw this magnesium away because we don't need this we need the soluble salt we are going to prepare a soluble salt magnesium chloride if we need this salt magnesium chloride we are reacting magnesium with hcl so when magnesium plus hcl react together salt will be formed this is called as magnesium chloride the salt in it is the magnesium chloride so in the next step we will filter this solution and remove excess magnesium filter off it and remove this magnesium then we will take the filtrate this is the soluble salt filtrate filtrate a soluble salt is the filtrate we will use this filtrate in a china dish filtrate so we will start heating this solution this filtrate this soluble salt of mgcl2 water will start evaporating water will start evaporating from this salt remember one thing if we want to make it crystals we will not heat this till dryness we will heat this solution till crystallization point we will evaporate the water but not all the water should be evaporated otherwise the crystals will be broken down there should be little amount of water in it and then we will heat it till saturation point or heat it till crystallization point when a greater amount of solute and less water is left behind we will remove the heat from this and we will see that this solution is very hot 
let it be cold and then take this solution take this these concentrated uh, this concentrated solution and filter off the crystals some of the water from the crystal will remove and other will stay behind and we will dry it in folds of filter paper we will filter the crystals and then dry it in the end we can wash the crystals with cold distilled water because the salt is very soluble in water we will use very cold distilled water to remove the impurities then dry in folds of filter paper now keep these things in your mind and all of these steps here then I will read out and tell you how basically the steps are working. Number one, we will take insoluble solid. Always the insoluble part will be in excess. Why we will use excess? Because we need to utilize all the acid. Otherwise, salt will be contaminated with the presence of hydrogen in the salt. So all the salt, all the magnesium, all the acid will be reacted with the magnesium. A soluble salt will be formed. Make sure all the acid should be reacted with the uh, HCl. All the acid will be reacted with the magnesium. Then magnesium chloride soluble part will be uh, taken in the form of filtrate and filter off the excess magnesium. Take this filtrate, heat it till saturation point, uh, remove the heat at the crystallization point, then filter the crystals and get the crystals. These are the crystals. Then the crystals will be dry in folds of filter paper. So these were the steps for preparing the soluble salt by using the metal. In the next step, if we will take, if we will have a look, first we have done this method. For this we will we'll have again the same method. Copper oxide is solid, aqueous sulfuric acid. We are going to do, do this reaction. In the laboratory and going to form the salt that is called as copper sulfate salt so we are going to prepare this salt we will use this solid with the same method the soluble salt we are preparing again first we will use excess copper oxide in the warm acid maximum copper oxide will get dissolved and all the acid will be reacted when all the acid will be reacted together, then we will take the soluble part, dissolved copper oxide in it. If we will use copper oxide reaction, this one is the black colored copper oxide and this is the H2SO4 sulfuric acid. So, it will form copper sulfate plus water molecule. So, we have water molecule. But we have excess copper oxide which will left behind because we use this solid in excess. Whenever we have this method, first solid, another one is aqueous, preparing an aqueous salt, we will use the same method. Then this solution will be taken to remove the excess copper oxide. Filter off copper oxide. And we are going to have the copper sulfate solution here now copper sulfate in the next step this one is the second step in the next step third step we will use this method in which we will heat the solution till the saturation point or crystallization point crystallization point is that point where crystals are going to start crystals are going to start again this is an example for preparing a soluble salt by using a solid copper oxide and sulfuric acid 
so this solid copper oxide will be dissolved in the sulfuric acid when we will add copper oxide and react sulfuric acid and copper oxide a salt and water will be formed in this salt when salt and water will be formed excess copper oxide will left behind which in the second step will be filter off and excess copper oxide will be removed so this one is the copper sulfate solution copper sulfate solution will be formed if we need crystals we heat this solution till the crystallization point till the crystallization point we will heat this solution till the crystallization point so after removing it from the crystallization point we will allow this concentrated solution to become cool if it will get cool then we will again filter off the crystals then we will again filter off the crystals and dry the crystals in folds of filter paper so these are the actually method for preparing the one solid and other aqueous salt with one solid and with one aqueous copper sulfate solution so these were the points you have to go through all of these points for preparing a soluble salt by using solid metal insoluble metal oxide and metal carbonate so these are the methods which we will use to prepare a soluble salt another method if we are preparing a salt a soluble salt like sodium chloride we are preparing sodium chloride okay for preparing sodium chloride we are given these two aqueous solution okay we have these two chemicals and we are preparing this soluble salt for this purpose what we will do if we will use the same method as we have done earlier can you can you uh, name if we will use same method for the sodium hydroxide if we will use hcl and uh, noh and form a salt by mixing all of these two things but both are aqueous solution i couldn't come to this position where salt and water is formed and i couldn't come to this position either i have used excess alkali or excess hcl because when we use these two aqueous solution then i need an equal volume of hcl or noh but i don't know i couldn't find out the exact method this one is not the correct method for preparing a soluble salt when both are the aqueous starting reagents are aqueous so for this purpose we used a method that is called as titration method titration method titration method is used when we have to prepare a soluble salt when the both starting chemicals are in aqueous form so then in that case we will prepare a we will use this method of titration to prepare this salt so first of all for this titration method which apparatus is are required the apparatus which are required are are the this one first this one is the pipette filler ye name the apparatus is first which we will use in this method this is the pipette filler 
This is pipette through which we measure exact amount of acid or alkali. We will use here of 25 centimeter cube. This is a dropper. This one is titration flask or conical flask. We will name these apparatuses. Conical flask. This one is, both of these are pipette. No, oh, sorry, burette. Burette, we will use burette here. Both of these are burette. And again, this one is the conical flask. So, let's describe the, let me describe the procedure, how we will do this. First of all, we will use this. I will use this pipette filler and uh, mount it on the uh, pipette and uh, press this suction bulb and get this alkali or acid. It depends upon the experiment what you are going to take an alkali or an acid in this pipette. Measure it at 25 centimeter cube and pour this liquid in the conical flask. Then after adding this for example I am going to have acid in it. Or alkali. If I will have alkali in it, then a few drops of indicator will be used. And I am going to use here the phenophthalene. The phenophthalene. The few drops of indicator. And the indicator which I am using is the phenophthalene. Okay. So when I will add few drops of phenophthalene in air, the color will be will remain white or colorless. Colorless. No color. Phenophthalene has is colorless in alkaline solution. Phenophthalene is colorless in alkaline solution. Now first I have taken 25 pipette out 25 centimeter cube of alkali in conical flask then few drops of indicator will be added in this solution color will remain colorless and after that in the burette acid will be taken any acid if we are going to make sodium chloride then we will use HCl and in sodium hydroxide solution with indicator we will use HCl. Hydrochloric acid will be used. So, when this hydrochloric acid will be used, then drop wise, I will add this acid in the solution. And after some time, a color, a point will come when a sudden change in color will be seen. The color will be changed from colorless to pink. So, end point is pink. As color will be changed, I will stop adding the acid in it. Because this is the point when neutralization takes place and salt is formed. So, indicator indicates that how much volume should we added when the neutralization is going to take place. So, in the first step what we have done, pip it out alkali, added it in the conical flask then in the few drops of indicators are added in the next step drop by drop we will add HCl in it and record the exact volume from the burette which will be used in this experiment and now for example we said that in 25 centimeter cube of uh, alkali will be neutralized by using 12.5 5 centimeter cube of acid. So then in the next step again we will start doing this experiment pip it out alkali but not used 
we will not use this step we will not add indicator just we uh, we will start doing the experiment like this first we will use indicator after that i will record the volume and to, i will add 25 12.5 cm cube of hcl in it i know this uh, solution will be neutralized by 12.5 cm cube of acid and neutralization will be take place so there are the two methods which we have done in this lesson and the next which we will describe is the preparation of insoluble salt so in this uh, lesson you people have learned how we will prepare the uh, salt soluble salts by two methods one is by using excess solid part in acid and second one is the titration so titration have these points this experiment have these points if you will get this question of five marks or four marks you have to note down all of these steps pause your video read it carefully and note it down in your notebooks to retain this thing in your mind so it will be very good for you to memorize and to write these steps in order another method which is used to prepare an insoluble salt first two methods for the preparation of soluble salts so there is the only one method to prepare an insoluble salt for insoluble salt we will use uh, a known volume of one salt solution in a beaker add solution of the other salt until no more precipitate form filter the mixture residue is actually our insoluble salt so throw away the filtrate wash the residue with distilled water dry the salt crystals actually here is a point to understand first of all we want to prepare an insoluble salt first thing which you must know that for preparing an insoluble salt we need a uh, two so we need two soluble salts for example if we want a yellow colored salt of lead iodide yellow salt of lead iodide lead iodide is pb i2 so if we need one insoluble salt lead iodide so this lead iodide will be formed by the mixing of two soluble salts these are the precipitates solid part which will form in lead iodide how this lead iodide salt will be prepared for this lead iodide salt we need two soluble salt for example for lead we will use lead nitrate because all nitrates are soluble so pb no3 lead nitrate is a soluble salt right whereas potassium iodide is also a soluble salt so two soluble salt when we will mix together in a non volume of potassium iodide we are going to mix together lead nitrate when these two solutions will be mixed the resultant solution which will be formed will be an insoluble salt this insoluble salt yellow precipitates of insoluble precipitates basically solid part these yellow precipitate then filter of these yellow precipitates will be filter off all the solution will go in the filtrate whereas all whole of this uh, solid part will will move on the filter paper so then we will take it off and place it and dry it in folds of filter paper wash these crystals these sorry these salt
okay these lead iodide yellow salt will be filtered and collected on the filter paper throw away this filtrate we don't know this we are preparing an insoluble salt that is lead iodide salt so lead iodide salt will remain on the filter paper we will take this filter paper and wash the salt with distilled water and let it be dry so this is the preparation of insoluble salt but again if we will have a look on this points that how insoluble salt will be formed this order should be followed this order should be followed let's have an ex other example how to prepare an insoluble salt calcium sulfate is prepared by by the reaction of two soluble salts if we will take calcium nitrate so nitrate all nitrates are soluble so calcium nitrate as aqueous will be used and sodium sulfate will be used to prepare this salt so calcium sulfate at the end a solid solid salt will be formed with the soluble salt so we will filter off this and collect the um soluble insoluble salt as residue and wash with distilled water so this was the method to prepare an insoluble salt i hope so you learned a lot about this preparation of salts so this was the end of this lesson so signing off miss aisha manzoor stay blessed stay safe allah hafiz